Hey you guys, welcome back and happy Friday. Happy Friday, happy Friday. I have been up and at them this morning. I have cleaned my kitchen, I have showered, I've washed my hair, I have made my bed, I have done laundry, I have started packing because I'm not gonna be here this weekend. So I figured we could hop on and drink our fizz and do our skincare and do our makeup and all of the thing. So make sure y'all say hello whenever you hop on. Let me know you're here. And as always, if y'all would not mind um, hitting that share button for me, that would be great. And I'm going to get this shared myself. I've got coconut in my teeth from where I ate protein bites just a minute ago. All right, let's open this and then I'm going to make a fizz. I've already got my um, peach pear LaCroix in here and Well, maybe I'm not. There it is. That's the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing. So say hello whenever you hop on. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Kate. Hey, Candy. Make sure y'all share whenever y'all hop on. It's seriously so helpful. Y'all have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Um, if you do what I do, you know. <laughs> Kate knows. <laughs> All right. Good morning, guys. All right. I am making a peach pear not peach pear. It's a mango peach um, fizz. Y'all know this was limited edition, but I cannot get away from them, you guys. I try so hard to like not touch my stash because I know it will like, like I will go through it so quickly because I love mango peach stuff and I just, I, I grab it. I can't help it. I can't help it. So really quick because this dress, you guys, there are only smalls left. Y'all know I'm kind of a medium up top. Um, and I can wear a small. It's got elastic back here, so if you are smaller than me, it may hang a little bit more on you, um, but even if you're a medium, you can wear this dress. So, there are only smalls left. I did look, and it's 50% off right now. There's a massive pink lily sale going on. Make sure you guys use my link, you guys, and if you wouldn't mind, whenever you shop through that link, if you do so today, will you send me a message of your order number? Um, we're supposed to be getting credit by people shopping through our link and I believe there's been an issue with that. So this is what it looks like. I just have it belted with a little like gold uh, Michael Kors belt. I was looking for my brown leather one, but I can't find it anywhere. So it does have a little bit of a slit on this side, which is super cute. There is not one on the other side and it is only lined halfway, hang on, like halfway down. So you've got the breathing room, the breeziness to this. It is a spaghetti strap. And then this back here, I'll show you guys, is completely stretchy so even though it is a small it can fit a medium easy y'all know I'm pretty much a medium now on the top because my boobs and so um it would fit and I y'all now I'm all crooked <laughs> can't get situated um but this same style dress comes in three different patterns I believe there is a lighter hang on I'm gonna look because I still have it up on my website you can still shop through that link above um, there is a lighter leopard print in this exact same style, and I don't know, I don't think they have anything but a small in that one, and then there's a blue with palm trees in this exact same style, but the blue with palm trees is only $16. Y'all, this sale is absolutely amazing, so definitely use that link above. Even though this is linked, you can still shop my affiliate link through them, or through them, through that, um, but oh, I'm out of breath. There's also a link in my bio on my Instagram too, so I know, I know. When I saw there were only smalls left, I was like, dang it, but it does have some stretch in the back, I will say. Now, there's no stretch in the hips, but there's still a quite, a quite a bit of room. If I take my belt off, there's definitely, it's definitely more of a, what do you call it, like a straight line? There's a word for it. Instead of like a A-frame or like very slim fitting, it's just kind of straight. So, okay, I've got my fizz mixed up. We're gonna do skincare too. I've already had on my eye mask this morning. Um, so I'm gonna go in and spray my AgeWell toner. So many of you guys grab skincare this week and it makes my heart so happy because I think everybody who has watched me for any period of time, y'all know, like skincare is the base to your makeup. Like I don't care what anybody says. Skincare is the base to your makeup. Your makeup is only as good as your skincare. And so everybody who has 
like signed up as a preferred client this week has gotten a makeup and skincare bundle and it just makes my heart so happy. I love it so much. All right, I'm going in next with the Derm Results. This is the Illuminating Skin Therapy Concentrate. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. It makes your skin glow so beautifully. I needed to get a headband, but I'm really not sure where mine are because I have to hide them from Elvis. He's not allowed in my office anymore because he jumps up onto my desk and like gets my beauty blenders and my, he got my hairbrush last time, um, headbands, everything. So I keep the door shut to this when he's here. And sometimes he still runs in here when like I don't pay attention and leave the door open and then I can't find things. And I know I need a headband because I just washed my hair. Um, a lot of them, Taylor. A lot of them. Um, let me go get a headband really quick. It's going to drive me nuts. It's an entire, I was going to wear this headband, you guys. <laughs> my Mickey ears from Disney. I love them. It's like one of my most prized possessions. Um, Aaron, Emily, and I went to Disney on a work trip, actually, while we were in Orlando, and it was so much fun. Um, but that link above, you guys, it'll save you up to 65% off. There is so much stuff. Like, there's some stuff as cheap as, like, $8. So, go shop, and if you would not mind, if you shop through my link, will you please send me a message, like a screenshot of your order confirmation where your order number is. That way, I can make sure that I'm getting credit because it doesn't look like I have been and I'm kind of like bummed about that. I got the contouring and eye cream skincare product and I'm pretty sure. Yes, Karen, I'm telling you, it's like, the, it works. And it's so cool because it is like, it's, it's clean. You know, it's clean products that you're putting on your skin. And you know, sometimes we think we need all the chemicals. I used to be that way. Like I needed all the chemicals and all the things to make my face look good. And my face actually looked way worse. My face looked terrible. Um, so, let me see here. All right, so I kind of let that serum kind of set for a little bit. You can see the instant glow that it gives my skin. So you're gonna get an instant glow and a long-term glow. It came in my mystery bundle. Oh, I forgot we had those. I love that. Um, let me see something really quick. Taylor, I'm going to... Is this the button that I need? I'm gonna send you the um, affiliate link directly. And then you can shop the sale through there too. I don't know which one will help you better, but there's a ton of stuff on there. Um, okay, so that was the Derm results, you guys. I swear by this stuff. There is more coming out in this collection this fall that I'm super excited about. Um, next, we're gonna go with the Age Well Serum. So I use both serums. They both do different things. They both have Picucci oil in them, but I like layering them together, um, especially having combo skin, having, y'all can see my eczema. She's real angry over here. Um, and I, I love the way that, and the results that I'm getting. I love the way my skin feels. I like the results that I'm getting. It is just, it's so good. It's so, so good. Hey, Whitney. All right. So I'm, am I good? Am I good? I do like to let everything sit just a bit. I'm going to sip my fizz. So good. Man, I'm going to tell y'all something. If we launch limited edition flavors, you need to snag them. You need to snag them. You need to snag them because they are so good. They are so good. I love this dress, you guys. If y'all can wear a small or a medium, there are only smalls left. Y'all need to go snag it. It's so, it's such a good dress. It's such a good dress. All right, let's finish up this skincare really quick. I do kind of like to let everything set and absorb into my skin. Sometimes if you layer too much on, your skin's not gonna absorb everything properly and then you've wasted your time and your money and your product and that's annoying. So let's go in with eye cream. Y'all know I rave about this stuff. I did use the gel eye mask. So if you can already tell my underneath eye is already really bright for this morning. Um, and those I believe are on sale, you guys. So definitely check those out. And if you have any questions, you can always message me. If you're not quite sure which skincare bundle would be great for you, send me a message. We can chat about your skincare concerns, your goals, and then we can always get you to where you need to be. Okay. 
Now, I'm gonna go in with the Firming Neck Cream. This does not come in the Age Well Bundle. We talked about this, I think, last time, but it's one of those things that I swear by and I love, and I think it's a fantastic add-on to your skincare regimen and to your order. Okay. It's so weird. I never moisturized my neck until Arvon. Like, so weird. <laughs> I know it's weird to watch. Um, and then we're going in with just a little bit of the SPF moisturizer. Um, I don't do as thick of a layer of this. Usually I do the non-SPF when I have, when I'm gonna wear makeup. Um, but I think this is the only one I have. If I have my non-SPF, I just haven't gotten it out yet. I ran out the other day. Um, so I pop on just a little bit underneath not too, too much. So I get a little bit of extra protection. And then you guys know we do have SPF in our foundation and our CC cream. So um, you're going to get SPF one way or another with our products, which I love. All right. So that is it for my morning skincare. It is literally so easy. The only thing you guys didn't see were the, um, I need to adjust these straps. I just didn't this morning. But um, the only thing you guys didn't see were the gel eye mask and my cleanser. Um, but the gel eye mask, they're in my bathroom. I love them. I think I posted them on my Instagram this morning when I used them. Um, I love them. They brighten instantly, make you look like you got 12 hours of sleep. It's so good. And I think I had seven hours of sleep maybe, which I, the other night I slept 12 hours and I was like, who am I? <laughs> like, who am I? All right. I'm going to go in. I'm going to let this set for just a little bit longer. I like everything to be absorbed. You don't want to layer things if they're not absorbed. That is what's going to cause your makeup to slide off your face. That is what's going to cause you to look like you are melting when it's 100 degrees outside in North Carolina. You don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that everything is completely absorbed and set before you move on to the next step. So I'm making sure, like, I just kind of tap. Like, I can tell this side's pretty much done. My T-zone needs just a little bit more. But the next thing, y'all know I've raved about this, and I cannot say enough good things about this product. This is the Redness Rescue Mattifying Powder. This has saved my life, you guys. I am an oily girl and I have redness that peeks through. I have oils that peek through. And sometimes like I, sometimes, some days I can go without blotting my face all day. And then some days it's like, nah, girl, here's is lunchtime. Like you need, you need some napkins. And so <laughs> this has literally saved my life. I love this powder. It's so freaking good. It mattifies my face. You wear it underneath your makeup. It freaking works. And I had, I was a little skeptical about it. I'm not going to not gonna lie. Um, I was a little skeptical about it, but you'll see as soon as I put it on my face, it does mattify my face. So let me kind of just feel around. I think we're good. Okay. So I'm just going to go in with a little brush. This is a Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. I don't know who would ever use this for foundation. Um, but... I'm going to put it right here in my T-zone. Can you see the difference between this side and this side? I can. I don't know if y'all can. Sometimes with the lighting, it makes it a little more difficult. But you guys, it helps so much with redness. It helps so much with your oils. And it's crazy to me that there's a powder that goes underneath a liquid. But you'll feel it when you put on your primer how silky smooth your skin is. I mean, you could really, if, if I'm being honest... Put this on your face and put on mascara and call it a day. Like, this could seriously be your, if you're like a no makeup kind of girl, but you've got some redness and some oils, this could be it for you. This is, it's such a good product. Arbonne knocked it out of the park with this one. All right, so there's that. I'll, I'm now going to go in with primer, which sounds so weird to put primer on top of powder, but you guys, I, oh, very much left in here, and this is my last one, y'all. I need to get my life together on oh, my restocks. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in my T-zone and you will feel the difference in how smooth your skin is when you pop that powder on. Hey, Miss Joni. And then we're gonna go outward. So definitely in that T-zone. It's so good and none of that powder comes off. It's so, it's, it's incredible. I don't know what kind of magical voodoo this is and it's completely clean and vegan and toxic free. No idea, but like it's, it's magical. I need to, to pray that I have a backup primer somewhere, somewhere. Okay. Let's go in with liquid foundation today. We're going in with the shade golden beige. I love our liquid foundation, you guys. And 
the main reason is I get the coverage that I want without the heaviness of a lot of other foundations. Um, and if you need to be color matched, all you need to do is send me a message. I do know that this shade is out of stock right now. It will be back at the end of August. Um, a lot of people got tan this summer, so they needed this shade. But um, it will be back if you are needing a restock of golden beige. And then make sure you guys, whenever y'all send me a picture to be color matched, it is filter free. Um, sometimes filters can actually wash you out and make you look way lighter than you really are. And so I want to make sure that we get you a solid color match. So make sure that whenever you send me selfies for color matching, that they are filter free. I'm not going to share them with the world. Don't think you need to be perfect. You don't. Um, it really just makes it so much easier for me to get you the right color match. And also you don't have to worry about like returning things or exchanging things because you've got the right color. All right, so I'm gonna blend this out and then you can see my eczema. We've got to cover her up without getting makeup in my hair. And you can see it's a little lighter, but it really covers really, really well, which I love because my eczema, I, I feel like it's creeping further down on my head and I'm kind of like, all right, like that's enough. That's enough with you. <laughs> all right, so I just wanna make sure that I am good and blended. A little something right there. A little something. A little piece of dead skin hanging out at my nose. And then we are good to go. I did link this beauty blender and a couple of my other favorite ones on my like to know it, you guys. So definitely make sure y'all go check those out. They're literally a dollar. Some of them are five dollars. Like so affordable. So affordable. And y'all know I used to use real techniques all the time. And I don't use them anymore. It's kind of crazy. Um, okay, let's go in with concealer. We're obviously, y'all know, y'all are new here. Um, this is all Arbonne makeup. It's all cruelty free, vegan, toxic free. Um, we ban over 1300 ingredients across our entire product line, which is pretty cool. Um, and we are also gluten free, dairy free, soy free, whey free, all the things free. So if you are allergy ridden, we have you covered. All right. So I'm going to use the tip of this and blend this out. I'm trying to look straight to keep my hair out of my face because I did just wash it. And like, I'm so anal about my hair on day one. It's like, I spent all the time washing it and using the purple shampoo to make it all blonde. And then I get it in my makeup and I get so mad. So I'm going to blend this out. And I moved where my camera sat. I think it's at a much better angle. I'm so in love with the concealer. You ain't lying about it, right? It's so good. It is so hard to find a concealer that gives you incredible coverage, that brightens your skin, that's not cakey. It's so hard. And it's also hard to find a concealer, y'all won't come through the ceiling, um, that like works on an 18 year old, but also works on like an 85 year old. My grandmother uses the same concealer I do. Like that's impressive to me. That's very impressive to me. So I'm going to make sure we are good. I'm gonna put this mirror back down now. Good and blended. And gosh, y'all are dropping everything. I don't, I think the people upstairs are the most clumsy people. They might be the nicest people, but I'm gonna tell y'all something. More stuff hits that floor than like that I've ever heard in my life. It's it's kind of, it's not, there's no way it's good. Um, because it is 100 degrees today, I'm going to take just a little bit of this mattifying powder and pop it on top right here in my T-zone, um, which I have not been doing recently. But I'm going to go in and set the rest of it with the Got You Covered powder in the shade Ivory. This is actually a loose powder, like a mineral powder foundation that we have. But I love the way that it sets my concealer. It is flawless. And it is a little light, which I like because I like to look like I have had 12 hours of sleep for seven days in a row. Like, I like to make it look like I am awake. I am not tired. I am ready for the day. And I like that my makeup stays fresh, too. It's another thing I really enjoy about this brand. Okay. So we have everything set. I'm going to set my forehead right here just a little bit again. And like I said, this is the Got You Covered powder in the shade Ivory. We do have a translucent setting powder, and I actually have it 
goodness, right here. Um, but this one does have a little bit of a shimmer, like a sheen to it. It's a glow. It's really beautiful. But for my face in the summertime with all my oils, nah. Nah. It's, it's a little too much. So, I go in with the Got You Covered. But if you are more of the dry skin girl and you like a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit of a glow, it's a fantastic setting powder. All right. I'm going to go in with what's left of this powder. Um, I love 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 this powder i have a new powder in my drawer but i want every last drop of this powder because it's that freaking good and the coverage is so nice it lays so beautifully and i say this every single time i'm live if you do not own this powder brush go get it my target where i live is always sold out of it um it's $10, you guys. It's linked on my like to know it. So if you need it, it's there. Um, but you guys, $10, it is the best powder brush, especially paired with this powder. You can't go wrong with this. I need details for this. <laughs> it is um, Sonia Kashuk powder, but it's literally $10 at Target. And there's an It Cosmetic one that's like $45 that people rave about. You guys, listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. This powder brush right here that looks like it's been chewed on by a dog, this was $50, okay? If I can find something that works just as good as, if not better, that is cheaper, I'm going for the cheaper route, okay? So I'm kind of over the whole, just because you have expensive things does not mean that they work. Let me just, let me just, I'm gonna be real blunt and like honest. Just because someone has expensive things does not mean that what they have is great or what they have works, okay? So, like, there, I feel like there's this false interpretation that you see when you get on social media that, you know, these people have all these expensive things and, you know, that, oh, I need a Tom Ford powder brush in order to make my makeup look like hers. Nah, girl, you don't. You know, you can get a $10 brush from Target that works amazing. The Tom Ford brush, though, is beautiful but I ain't paying $98 for a powder brush. I just am not doing it. I don't care how many millions of dollars that some people have. That's just dumb. Okay. Anyways, that was a random little tangent. Let's go in with bronzer. I'm going in with our glow on bronzer. I'm going to go online and see if I can find it. Yes, go online. Or you can, if you go through my like to know it, you'll be able to shop it through there too. Um, and whenever you guys shop through like to know it or any of my links that I share with you guys, um, I get credit that way. So they're all affiliate links, which is super helpful whenever you guys shop through there. All right, so I'm just gonna bronze up my face. I love bronzy cheeks. It's like one of my favorite things ever. I will say I was contemplating, I get my hair done in September and I, I start thinking about my hair way in advance because I always have these crazy ideas and I always end up staying blonde, but I've considered going back like super, super blonde, which is weird because for the fall, everybody wants like, uh, my Arbonne makeup is listed through the link above it, sydneydanielle.arbonne.com. So that is, you cannot purchase Arbonne through anywhere but my link. So that is a different one. That is different. But if you need to be color matched for this makeup, all I need is a recent picture of yourself. And then I can send you a link that has all of your colors in it. So you don't even have to worry about scrolling through the site unless you just want to. Um, but anyways, I considered like going back super blonde. And then as I'm sitting here doing my makeup right now, I'm like, you know what? It is so nice to not have to worry about little blonde hairs right here that turn orange when you do your makeup. Like... It's so nice. <laughs> and I like a Rudy dimensional look in my hair. I love it. I think it just looks so nice. But I kind of miss the overall blonde. But y'all, I'm going to tell you something. If y'all have ever been, okay, platinum. If you've ever been platinum or blonde to your root, whether it be a highlight or just overall bleach, your hair turns orange when you do your makeup. And it's such a pain in the butt. It's such a pain in the butt. And then you got to get the makeup out of your hair. It's annoying. All right, let's do a little bit of a contour really quick. I'm going to go in with the Starlight Glow Palette, and we're going to grab the shade Meteor. Y'all know. If y'all been here, y'all know. That's my, that's my jam. And we're going to pop a little bit on my cheeks, under my cheeks. Yep, the baby powder is awesome for... love y'all know I swear by the Foxy Bay dry shampoo I think it's like the greatest thing on the face of the planet um and actually I had some people 
messaged me telling me to get it before I even started using Foxy Bay. And um, I, I love it. I think it's seriously like the greatest thing ever. It's so freaking good. All right. Okay, little, little bit of extra right there, because why not? All right, and then I'm going to grab the blush in the shade Fig. This has been my new go-to recently. And and also, you guys, I don't know if y'all saw, but you can get the uh, Foxy Bay Dirty Gal Dry Shampoo in travel size now. Hallelujah praise, because that whole bottle would travel with me. And I would get so nervous about it in my suitcase. I always put on a little extra, and then I buff it all out. So, we're going to buff it out with a little, what is this? I use Amika now, but I might switch over to Foxy Bay. Crystal, I seriously love the Foxy Bay one. It smells so good for starters, but it actually sprays dry. Like, you know, some dry shampoos, when you spray them out, they spray kind of wet and then they dry. Mm -mm. No, this, this one's real dry. This one's real dry. Okay, let's go in with eyeshadow. I'm going to keep it super simple today. It's just day, day, day. <laughs> I'm going to meet Tyler for a lunch. Um, I'm going to head home to see the fam. And then I'm, I didn't even tell you what I'm using. I'm using the It's All in the Eyes. <laughs> I'm just struggling. Volume 1 palette that y'all know if you've been here. I'm obsessed with this palette. It is perfect for year-round, but it's absolutely fantastic for fall. So good for fall. And then I'm just going to buff that out in the crease. I'm using the shades Sand and Caraway, and I'm just blending them together and going back and forth. And I do have a link, you guys, if y'all ever want 10% off of all of the liquids from Foxy Bay, I do have an exclusive 10% off link for you guys. So um, you can always send me a message. I'm trying to get my links to work back in my bio. My link tree link is getting kicked out of everything, and it's got... Um, all of my links housed in there and for some reason it's just nothing's wanting to do anything correctly has Tyler met my family he has he has they love him they may love him more than me actually I was having a bad day one day <laughs> and Tyler as a joke text my mom and was like Sydney's not really being mean to me but act like she is and like see what she does and so I um I hate when I'm sitting on a dress and it kind of like messes with me. And so she texts me. She's like, you need to be nice to him. And I went in there. I was like, did you text my mom? It was the funniest thing. It was pretty comical. Um, but yeah, no, my family absolutely loves him. Like I said, probably more than me. Probably more than they love me. Um, where is? Here it is. Okay. Let's see here. For a Foxy. So... If you guys want the liquids, Crystal, I'm going to send you two links. I don't know why they're separate, but they are. The first link that I sent you is going to be for 10% off all liquids, so all hair care products. The second link is going to be for 60% off of the tools. It's always like that. I said, Lord, I was here first, <laughs> right? Are they quick on shipping? We got some family photos on the 28th. Oh, yeah. I think if you order them now, you'll be fine. All right, Crystal. Let's see. Crystal Collins. I was like, wait, I just sent Crystal a link, but it was Crystal Kaiser. Let's go back here. All right. So, let me click on here. Let me tell you something. I don't like all right crystal i sent you the link that is the up to 70 percent off 60 percent, 70 percent off whatever i can't remember and then the second link is going to be for the hair care um okay we get addicted to this one i'm telling y'all i listen if i use it myself it's good i i don't put anything on my especially my hair y'all i pay so much money for my hair it's disgusting and I'm, I'm not just going to put anything on my hair. Like, nah, nah. It's going to be good. And I like it because all of their products are sulfate-free and paraben-free. Um, and they're all loaded with biotin, too. 
Brooke, what's my like to know it link? Let me get it for you. Let me get it for you. Okay. I wish all my links would just work for you guys and then we wouldn't have an issue. <laughs> but since everything's being a pain in the butt, I am more than happy to send these things to you guys directly. So never hesitate, you guys. If Even if you don't know if I have a link, you can always message me and say, hey, do you have a link to this? And I can either say yes or no. Um, I'm picky about dry shampoo, but Paxi Bay has been my favorite. Same. You guys, there are only two, sh two dry shampoos that I have ever liked. And that is a $58 dry shampoo, which is stupid. And then my Foxy Bay dry shampoo. Um, but even the $58 one, you guys, like, obviously, I'm not going to spend that much on a dry shampoo because that's stupid. But, like, I, I really like the Foxy Bay dry shampoo. I really do. All right. Let me scroll down. What you waiting on, Willis? All right. All right, Brooke. And if we are not friends on Facebook, you may have to check your message request. But, Brooke, I just sent it to you, babe. Um, okay. I'm hoping to come home next week. I'm definitely going to get this hair done. Yes, girl. I get my hair done in September. So, And I've also been contemplating cutting it back off again. Y'all know I chopped all my hair off in um, either August or September of last year. And it was the best decision I ever did. It was pretty much as long as it is now, which is comical because it took me like, I feel like years to get this long last time. And then with my skin elixir that I've been taking, my hair has just grown so much and like thicker and stronger. But um, I, where, where was I going with this? Oh, but I'm contemplating chopping it back off again. I'm like, who are you, Sydney? I really enjoyed having short hair. It was a lot of fun. The transition stage is a little frustrating, but it wasn't too bad. All right, I'm going to go with the shade da, 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 Cypress, which is the dark brown, and pop it underneath my lash line. We're pretty much just doing like a bronzy kind of fallish. This could be fall. This could be summer. This could be spring. I wear this in the summer too, but I just, I like a good bronzy look. And then I'm also going to grab... Um, do not have a clean brush that doesn't have pink on it? All right, we're going to grab a little pencil brush, and I'm going to take that same brown shade, that cypress shade, and just pop it right here in that outer corner just to give us a little bit of, little bit of something here. And we are going to wear lashes today, and I think I'm going to wear the style Boss Babe. I wore those um, last week, I believe, and y'all asked so many questions about them and they are so pretty they are so full they're not super long um but they are a little bit more of a full and dramatic lash so look at how just a little bit of that brown kind of deepened that up just a bit i just need all new brushes my daughter ruined most of my good ones especially blending ones i'm going to try to yes clean them and soak them that i i always try to salvage what i can like some things obviously aren't salvageable but if you can salvage I would try. There's my boyfriend. <laughs> I texted him. He was like, text me when you wake up. And I was like, well, I'm going to be up before you. He had to work late last night. And so I texted him at like 830 this morning. Um, okay. Super, super pretty there. Y'all, my boobs. <laughs> and the way I'm sitting on this dress, it keeps pulling down. I'm going to need a lash training. You guys, it's the easiest thing. I need to do a video just on um, how to apply them. But I do Glamnetic Labs with them where we do giveaways and stuff. I'm not quite sure. I think we've already done one for this month. Um, but you guys can always shop at Glamnetic.com with my code Sydney and you'll get 15% off the entire website. So um, I think I'm just going to leave it like that, you guys. Just super simple. And then what I'm going to do is take my Maybelline Gel Liner in the shade Blackest Black. And... Um, we are going to do probably just a basic, a basic
little line. And this has been my favorite way to do liner recently. I've really enjoyed the um, liquid liner from Glamnetic versus the felt tip liners, which are crazy because when I first started using Glamnetic, all I used was the felt tip pens. They're called the So Future felt tip eyeliners. And I love them. They're definitely the best if you are new to um, magnetic lashes or liner or anything like that. But um, if you're a little bit more experienced and you don't care, then do the liquid liner for sure. I think it's just my favorite. I've been debating on lash extensions. Um, okay, here's my opinion on lash extensions. I love them. I love them. And if I could have them, I would. And I love the girl who does mine. Her name is Lindsay. She's in Charlotte at Couture Lash. Um, she's in South Charlotte, technically. And so I, lo I loved mine. I loved waking up and having eyelashes. It made me feel so pretty in the mornings. But I had a really bad allergic reaction. And we have tried literally everything in the book to combat that allergic reaction. And it's just to the point where it's just not worth it anymore for me to try to do it. So as much as I love eyelash extensions, I just personally can't have them. Um, my friend Adrienne, she's the exact same way. She swells up like a, like a toad and, um, it's just, just the way it is for us. It's so great. We hate it. But, I mean, there's a lot of different options, and I'm grateful that I have Glamnetic because I will say the one downfall with lash extensions that I found is I like to switch up my style of lash. I like to be able to, you know, if I want more of like a cat eye look, I can put on a cat eye lash. If I want more of a full look, I can put on that. If I want more of a wispy look, I can put that on. And so, um, you can't really do that with lash extensions. You know, the ones, the ones that you get, you have, and you can switch it up every two weeks or so, but like... You know, if you decide to go more natural and then something comes up and you're like, oh crap, I want dramatic lashes for this event, unless you go pay to get volume lashes put back in, then you have classic lashes, which isn't terrible, but like, I, um, there, there is a little bit more of a, you have more versatility, I will say, when you've got, um, the magnetic lashes. And you don't have to worry about, you know, glue or anything like that. All right. So, there is pencil liner. This is in the shade Carbon. Y'all know how much I love that liner. Um, okay. Let me grab this little baby brush really quick. And I'm just going to buff out right here on the edge. Just kind of whatever... I made a mess with because I don't want to make it too dark and smoky because it is Friday during the day. Y'all know. I haven't had any of my fizz. All right. Oh, I didn't do lip plumper either. You guys, who am I? We need that today. Okay. Now, this is also linked on my like to know. This is the Buxom Plump Shot Lip uh, Plumper. It is not intense, you guys. If you want something that's going to give your lips a little bit of a plump look without being like bee stings, this is the one for you. If you want the bee sting lip plumper, go to face lip injection all day long. But this is definitely, um, definitely a more doable one. More doable one. Um, Tyler's texting me about plans, so I was like, I'll call you when I'm done. Um, mum, 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 mum. All right, let's do brows. We're going to keep it super simple. I love having text messaging on my computer. It is like the best thing that Mac ever did. One thing I need to learn how to do, and maybe y'all can teach me this if y'all have a Mac, is how do I link my calendar on my phone to my calendar on my computer. I feel like that's one thing that did not sync up. Um, 
and I'm, I'm not sure why, but it didn't. Okay. I'm ready to have my Arbonne brow pencil back. I just, this one, it's fine, but it's not great. LOL. My lips, she did them natural, but it wasn't. Yes. But I had a feeling. Oh gosh, that would have been a, a terrifying thing. You do swell pretty bad. Some people swell worse than others, and obviously some people bruise and some people don't, but um, you do swell. Your body's like, uh, what the heck did you just put in my body? What did you do? I need to trim my brows. I need to do a lot of TLC to my brows. There's no doubt about it. When you sync your phone and your Mac, it should ask if you want to do that too. I, okay, but if it's already synced, like if everything's already, maybe there's like a setting I need to turn on or something. Because I cannot, like I use my phone calendar so much. And then I get on my laptop and it says my calendar's empty. And I'm like, what the heck? Or I'll schedule a meeting and it'll sync to my, like, computer calendar but not to my phone calendar and I'm like what the heck it's very annoying to me all right let's dust away any excess powder that we have hanging out and then we're going to highlight our face with the starlight glow palette and we're going to use the shade stardust which clearly is the best thing that I've ever used in my life it just has this beautiful gold tone to it. Kind of makes your skin look like it got wet. Like, oh, so beautiful. And then why do I feel like there's a hair? I can see a hair. That's why. And I can't get it off my nose. Oh, I got it. Oh, but now it itches. Holy moly. Oh. And then let's just do a little bit on my forehead. And then y'all know I always go in and highlight my brow bone with a little bit of that as well. Just like so. Oh, it's so nice. It's such a beautiful color. Oh, goodness. I might have to. I might have to do that. It's just driving me nuts because, like, a lot of my meetings are Zoom meetings. And so when you get emails with those, like, links and stuff, they automatically save from your email to your computer. But then if I check my email on my phone, then it saves to my phone, but it's not saving in both places. I'm like, dang it. It's driving me nuts. All right. Um, setting spray. Y'all, I don't even have an option right now because mine is empty. So, I really don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'm going to have to go buy it back up until my Arbonne order comes in. All right. I'm going to, you did? Is that what you just sent me a picture of? Oh, you said, okay, like, I can see which one you got. Oh, that is going to be so beautiful. That's going to be so pretty. Uh, I'm so excited for you. So here's a funny thing. Two or three, no, it's probably been longer than that. It's probably been like four or five years ago. I saw this dress on this girl. This is literally the craziest, stupidest thing I've ever done. Not stupidest thing, but like it's kind of, it's just a typical girl move. So I saw this dress on this girl a couple years ago. Had, it has to have been four or five years now. And I'm not curling my lashes just to make life a little bit easier whenever I um, put on my magnetic liner. But anyways, I saw this dress on this girl. She did a photo shoot like in the Grand Canyon. And I found the dress and it was from Pink Lily. And so it's this beautiful black and white dress. It's got these velvet appliques on it. It's absolutely stunning. So I bought it. And I've never worn it because I thought at that time, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get engaged soon. And I can do like engagement pictures in it. No, nah, that didn't happen. So now I have this dress that I don't even know if it fits anymore. But y'all, I'm going to make it fit. Like the day that I get engaged and have to do these pictures, that is the dress I am wearing. And it is in my closet. And it is stunning. It is absolutely beautiful. And by the time I get to wear it, it probably won't even be able to be manufactured anymore, but, or maybe the moths will eat it, one of the two, but like, I wanted that dress so bad, and I bought it, and literally have never worn it. It's comical. I'm excited for you. I think that's, I think that's so beautiful. I want to see it. Hang on. 
this out. Oh my God, that is so pretty. And okay, so y'all, the dress that she's talking about was $54 and she just got it for $22. $54 and she got it for $22. Like that's insane, y'all. These prices are absolutely insane. That is beautiful. That is stunning. It's gonna be so beautiful. I'm so excited for you. That is gonna be nice. Okay, let's let those lashes dry. And then I said I was gonna wear those bougie lashes, but are those dramatic lashes i wore vip last night they really need to be cleaned um maybe i should wear mm, not those not those these are the ones that i was gonna wear this is the style boss babe they're a little thicker but they're not super long hey sydney um they're so they're so pretty i was gonna wear those I wore VIP yesterday. They're definitely more of a natural lash, which is why I like them. Um, I don't know. We'll hold both of them up and see. So, VIPs need to be cleaned so bad, you guys. Like, so bad. Oh, you were? Did you have a showing up here? All right. So, this is... See how it's a little, like wispy-ish. Okay, so that's VIP, which I love. I love VIP. It's one of my favorites. And then this is Boss Babe. These are thicker and fuller. But they're a little shorter. I don't know which ones I like. I think I like... I did it was the best. Oh, no. That's the worst. I don't know. They are kind of beautiful. Which ones do you think? VIP or Boss Babe? That's Boss Babe a little closer. You guys vote. Which ones do y'all think? And let me go ahead while y'all are voting and I'm going to put, no, definitely Boss Babe. Boss, Boss Babe is beautiful. I'm going to put, this is the um, Glamnetic. This is the liquid liner. Y'all know I like me some VIP. That's what y'all are doing. Y'all are taking me out of my comfort zone. And what I do is I swipe this right on top of my liner that I laid down. This makes life so much easier, you guys. I think when you lay down a layer of liner that you can literally just trace, you don't have to worry about being perfect. You don't have to worry about being straight. Like, you literally just trace it. Like, and we're all adults. We can trace. At least I hope we can. This liner is getting a little janky, though. I think I'm going to have to order a new one. They look, to me, they look more natural. So, it's funny because, uh, I guess it was last summer, two summers ago, I wore, I had on fake lashes, and I ended up at my aunt's pool, which, had I known I was going, I wouldn't have worn makeup, period. But, I mean, I ended up there. So, I had on these lashes that were actually quite long. Um, and my aunt was like, those look so natural. And I was like mind blown. So it's funny that sometimes like sometimes the more dramatic ones do have a little bit more of a natural look to them. This is my handicap side, you guys. Like I get it all in my lashes every single time. And then I always do a little extra on my inner corner on this lash because I have eczema on my eyelid and she don't like the stick. So we're going to let that set for just a second. You do want to let this dry for about a minute. The um, If you end up getting the felt tip pins, you can let those sit for like 30 seconds and then apply. But if you're going to do the liquid liner, because obviously it is more liquidy, um, you're going to want to... I'm trying to get the um, magnetic liner out of my lashes. a little spoolie. Okay. But anyways, you're going to let the, let me, let me say this without confusing anybody. Felt tip liner, 30 seconds. That's not a liner. Liquid liner, you want to do for at least a minute. Let it sit for at least a minute before you go in and pop on lashes. Um, okay. So we're going to do boss babe. That was y'all's vote. I'm going to keep VIP out. So I'll pack that to go to the fams this weekend. We are, um, Tyler and I are spending the day together today 
And then we are going to Monster Jam tomorrow, which I'm actually kind of excited about. Um, it's been such a long time since I've, I mean, my nephew, he's going to be 13 in September, you guys. And so I've not done like kid stuff. It was funny because I was like, I don't know what to wear. Like, I don't have a kid. I don't go to kid things. I don't know what to wear to kid things. And, which I know what I'm going to wear now. But, um, it was just kind of funny because I was like, I miss when Mason was that little. And we, not that he wouldn't enjoy Monster Jam, which I don't know that he really would. But, he's not really into that kind of stuff anymore. But, just sad when the kids grow up. Makes me really sad. All right. And then what I'm doing right now as the um, liner is drying, I am taking the lashes and I'm just cleaning off the magnets. You can use your fingernail, you can use tweezers. Um, I'm just making sure that the magnets, especially the ones on the outer corner are clean from the old liner because if they're not, you can forget them sticking. Um, so you need to make sure that they have no extra liner on them. And then you can also take a little alcohol swab and just kind of run it over the magnets as well and that'll kind of clean them. So. I think we're good. I'm gonna roll these just a little bit to make sure that they are good and curved for my eye. And then I'm gonna open my mirror. This bronzer, y'all, has lasted me for freaking ages. Longer than like any of the stuff, I think. Okay, and then it literally just, you'll feel it stick right to that liner and then you are good to go. So all of these lashes are mink lashes. There are some, um, there are some synthetic lashes on the website too. I will say when you go with the mink lashes, they are going to look a lot more natural than a synthetic lash. That's just kind of how lashes are. Um, but there are synthetic ones available and there's over 50 pairs on the website. So you guys can go check those out and then you can always use code SYDNEY. It's just my first name in all caps and that'll get you 15% off your entire order. So definitely, definitely go check that out. There is a lash quiz on the website as well. So if you're not sure which lashes would fit your eye shape or like your expertise level, things like that, um, there is a lash quiz on there. And I, I swear by it, every time it recommends a lash for me, it's always the perfect for my eye shape and fits the absolute best. So um, I also get a lot of questions on if I have to trim these and the answer is no, I've never had to trim a Glamnetic lash. However, you can trim them. You just want to make sure that you trim a whole magnet in. So, like, you want to make sure that your outer edge has a magnet that is butt up to the edge of your eye, if that makes sense. Like, the outer edge needs to have a magnet on it. You don't want to flop and lash, if that makes sense. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little bronzy lip combo. Y'all, this washcloth is, like, disgusting. All right. I love these lashes. I think they're so beautiful. They give me a little bit of drama, but like not too much. They make me happy. All right. Powder over those. And then I'm going to go in with the eyeliner as lip liner in the shade Morel. Y'all know if y'all want a good nude lip combo, this is it right here. Do the top. Also, Outer Bank Season 2. Oh, y'all. That's some good stuff right there. All right, so that is the eyeliner in the shade Morel as lip liner. And then I'm gonna go in with the Matte and Shine Duo in the shade Amaryllis. Oh girl, Megan is good. And notice I have not dipped back into 
I've got to get the buttons taken off my teeth. Gosh. I have Invisalign and I really need to start wearing it again just to start re-straighten my teeth out. But like, God. I've had those buttons on my teeth for what seems like years. Well, it has been years. All right, so there's that. And then I'm gonna grab the lip gloss that is actually a single gloss instead of the one on the end of that because I wanna keep it kind of bronzy. We're gonna grab the gloss in the shade Hazel. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I, this is like, uh, I'm trying to finish Riverdale. Riverdale's long. It took me a while to finish Riverdale because it's just, it's got so many episodes and so many seasons, but Riverdale was good. Firefly Lane was great. I love, love Netflix. All right, I gotta go wash my hands because, oh man, they are dirty. But this is it. This is the final makeup look. This is so freaking beautiful. I love it. It goes with this dress perfectly, which I'm usually not a matchy, matchy makeup kind of girl. I am a, like, I, I like, you know, if I have on black, I like to wear like hot pink. Or if I have on like blue, I like to wear neutrals. Or if I have on neutrals, I like to wear hot pink. You know, I don't ever like it to be matchy matchy, but we are matchy matchy and I'm kind of not mad about it. Um, hey Cassie, who is your favorite Outer Banks character? Um, well, obviously John B. Like you can't not love John B, but I love Sarah. I love Sarah. I think like her acting is so good, but also the, I can't remember his name to save my life. JJ, the little blonde, crazy, the crazy kid. I freaking love him. I feel him on so many levels. Um, he's great. I think he's absolutely fantastic. So it, it's hard, but y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all something. The stuff that goes down in season two of Outer Banks is freaking mind blowing. It is it is so, you see, and it just pisses you off, and then you're like, dang it, and then something else happens, and you're like, heck yeah, and then you're like, dang it, and then <coughs> that's literally how it goes down. So, anyways, I'm going to hop off here. If you guys have any questions, please send me a message. I'll be more than happy to answer. I've got to go pack my stuff and get on the road, um, but I'm taking all of my work with me, so it is a very intense show. Every single episode is intense. Um, so I'm taking all my work stuff with me. I will be showing you guys um, tonight what I packed in like my skincare, like how I travel with my skincare. I was going to show you guys this morning um, how I pack for traveling, but I didn't have time. So I'm going to have to do it tonight. So I'll show you guys when I get to my parents and I do my skincare, what all I pack with me um, when I travel to do that kind of stuff. So I'm going to hop off here. If you guys have any questions or you need to be color matched, send me a message. I'll see you guys later.